Uh, Brain, why did we suddenly start smoking? So we can hang around these cool dudes, of course. But isn't smoking bad for the lungs? Nah, don't worry about it, Hart. <coughs> yeah, we can totally take it. So have at it, Brain. <coughs> Thanks. And smoking feels so good. We should have started years ago. What's it feel like? It's like this instant buzz of pleasure and ecstasy when you light up a cigarette. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Just one stick doesn't last a long time, though. Then you gotta light another one up. <coughs> but there's plenty more where that came from. <coughs> Are you guys sure you're okay? Oh, absolutely. <coughs> we love smoking. <coughs> Whoa, you guys look terrible. We better get the doctor to look at you. <laughs> no need for that. We're right as rain. Yeah. <coughs> Take a closer look, Hart. <coughs> Smoking's the best thing that ever happened to us. <coughs> I don't buy that. All that smoke coming out of you <coughs> smells horrible. <coughs> it can't be good for you. I saw the smoke signals and thought there might be trouble. Uh, what smoke signal? <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't tell me you started smoking. Okay, we won't tell you. <coughs> Darn it, Brain. How could you let this happen? Didn't the decades of PSAs on TV teach you anything? Aw, but those PSAs are always so dumb and boring. They look like they were made in the 60s or something. Hey, we put a lot of thought and effort into those. Either way, we can handle it, Doc. <coughs> Not from where I'm floating. Oh, look closer, Doc. We feel better than ever. <coughs> the two of you look like a dumpster fire. Oh, and smell even worse. Get rid of that cigarette immediately. But we'll get kicked out of the cool group. You'll get kicked into heaven if you keep this up. Okay, okay, fine. It's out. Whew. Uh, I mean, uh, darn it, I wish we could taste some more of that sweet, sweet smoke. Hey, I thought you said you guys were cool with smoking. All right, all right, we'll fess up. We hated smoking the moment that first cigarette touched our lips. What? Then why'd you let me continue for several months? Several months? Oh, good lord. Well, we wanted to look cool too. You wouldn't have looked cool for long. How many cigarettes were you smoking per day? At first, it was just one or two, but now we're up to a pack a day. A pack a day? Even just one is too much. Seriously? Yes, smoking has a myriad of negative effects on not just the lungs, but on literally the entire human body. And they're amplified the more cigarettes you smoke. I can vouch for that. All that smoke coming out of them made me feel awful. Yup, smoking can damage the heart and lead to a variety of heart diseases, including sudden cardiac death. How bad is that? It has the word death in it. It's really, really bad. I also noticed some odd things going on with our skin and teeth, Doc. Not surprised. Smoking causes terrible damage to the teeth, skin, and hair as well. It causes wrinkles, hair loss, fungal nail infections, plus gingivitis and periodontitis in the gums. And my vision's been a bit blurry lately. Does smoking have anything to do with that? Yup, smoking affects the eyes as well. It can cause glaucoma, cataracts, and macular degeneration. All of that causes terrible damage to the eyes, and eventually, total loss of vision. Ooh, ooh, and smoking makes me feel... Yes, yes, look. Smoking causes so many problems to the entire human body that I can literally spend all day talking about the signs and symptoms as usual. But needless to say, the most damage it causes is to... Here it comes. The lungs! Oh. <gasps> Irreparable tissue damage, chronic cough, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and lung cancer. Wait, lung cancer? Yes, and not just that. It also causes skin cancer, bladder cancer, kidney cancer, liver cancer, colorectal cancer, stomach cancer, basically a lot of cancers. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. You've made your point, Doc. We'll never smoke again. Yeah, from now on, this human body stays smoke-free. What the heck is all this? <coughs> we haven't even recovered yet. Right? <coughs> I thought we were done smoking. 
Yeah, we sure are, Lungs. Then please explain all this smoke. Oh, that's not smoke. That's vapor. Hey, is that cotton candy? Yeah, doesn't it smell sweet? We quit smoking cigarettes, so now we're vaping e-cigarettes now. Vaping? Yup, it gives the same pleasure as smoking, but is infinitely healthier. Oh wow, really? <coughs> Unlike cigarettes, e-cigarettes don't burn tobacco to create smoke. Instead, they heat a liquid that creates an aerosol. The smoke, uh, vapor still <coughs> hurts though. Hmm, maybe it's the cotton candy flavor? We can switch it up. We have mint, chocolate, almond, and bubblegum ice cream. Dealer's choice. Bubblegum ice cream! Bubblegum ice cream! All right, if you say so, Brain, we'll give it a shot. Brain! <coughs> we seriously can't take this anymore. I agree, Brain. <coughs> We're not going to last at this rate. <coughs> Doctor! Hmm, smells like the circus is in town. Doctor! <coughs> Help! We're at death's door! I don't get it. Vaping is supposed to be healthy for you. Uh, no it's not. It's just as bad as smoking. What? People thought it was healthy at first. Same thing with smoking, actually. Smoking's been around for centuries, but it was only until the 1960s when people started becoming aware that it causes cancer, among the bevy of other diseases we already talked about. But why? It's because e-cigarettes contain many toxins within its liquids that cause adverse effects throughout the human body. Like heart disease? Irreparable lung damage? Bad teeth and inflamed gums? Yes, yes, vaping causes all of those and a whole bunch more nasty stuff. Lung damage will be present in a matter of days, and heart disease, bad teeth, blurry vision and the like will be a problem in only a matter of weeks. And they'll all become worse the more you vape. Oh, but it feels so good and smells so sweet. That's the nicotine talking. Nicotine? It's a substance found in cigarettes and e-cigarettes that makes them highly addicting within minutes. It raises the dopamine levels in the brain so much that it makes quitting smoking a highly difficult task. So I'll switch to nicotine-free e-cigarettes then? Uh-uh, remember, all the other toxins in the e-cigarettes are what causes the vast majority of the ill effects. You just be taking out one out of dozens, so it's still a terrible idea. Ah! But I can't just quit! I can't, I can't, I can't! Doc, what can we do? Yeah, we really encouraged Brain to start smoking back then. Now we're afraid he can't stop because of us. The best advice I can give right now is to join one of the many support groups that help smokers recover from their addiction. Support group? But that sounds boring and a lot of work. Brain, please! Okay, okay, fine. How long until I stop being addicted, Doc? It's different for everyone, but many get over their addictions with the proper support after several months. Others take years to truly kick the habit. Not too encouraging, Doc. But you still have to do it. I know, I know. And remember, the best way to prevent damage from smoking is to not start doing it in the first place. And stay away from secondhand smoke and vapor as well. It causes just as many problems as smoking or vaping yourself. Who are you even talking to? The audience, of course. Wait, we were in a PSA all along? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>